What's up everybody? Welcome to a new English bit. I'm Katya. In today's lesson, we're going to learn 10 super cool and funny idioms that I like a lot. To tell the truth, I didn't know many of them and it was thanks to Victor who shared these idioms with me and with you. Thank you, Victor. Are you ready to learn some super interesting idioms? If so, grab your vocabulary notebook and a pen and let's kick off! So, let's get started. The first idiom on my list today is to have someone's number. So, if I say I have your number or I've got your number, what do you think it means? We use this idiom to say that we know a lot about someone, about their true character and intentions, and we know how to deal with them. In Spanish, we would say tener alguien fichado o calado. And now let's look at two examples. The first one, I won't let him fool me. I've got his number. And one more example, let me deal with the boss. I've got her number. And now just want to our second idiom at the 11th hour. Super interesting as well. If you do something at the 11th hour, what do you think it means? This idiom means that you do something at the latest possible moment, just before it's too late. So imagine you have to do something, but you postpone it and procrastinate. And then finally you do it but at the last minute. So it would be to do something at the 11th hour. In Spanish, we would say en el último momento o a última hora. And now two examples. The first one, she's always doing everything at the 11th hour. It's such a bad habit. And one more example, doing your tax return at the 11th hour must be really stressful. Let's one to the third idiom that also has a number in it and it's a catch-22 situation. Also very intriguing. It means that you're trapped in an impossible situation because you can do one thing until you do another one, but you can do the second thing until you do the first thing. In Spanish we say la pescadilla que se muerde la cola. And now a few examples. The first one, to get your first job, you need work experience, but you can get it without landing a job. It's a catch-22 situation here. And one more example, to open a bank account, I need an employment contract. And they ask me for my bank account before drawing up my employment contract. I'm in a catch-22 situation. And now we're going to learn some informal idioms. Number four, to get your shit together. It means to sort yourself out, to organize your life so that you can achieve what you want. Basically, it means the same as another idiom to get your act together. In Spanish, it would be poner tu vida en orden. And now let's look at two examples. The first example, you need to get your shit together, find a job and leave your parents' home. And the second example is from the song by Taylor Swift called Renegade, where she sings, is it insensitive for me to say, get your shit together so I can love you. And number five, one more informal idiom in line with the previous one to be shit in bricks. And it means to become very frightened or nervous. In Spanish, we would say estar cagado de miedo o acojonado. And now let's look at two examples. The first one, if I were on a plane that lost an engine, I'd be shit in bricks. And one more example about me, I was shit in bricks before going down the dune on the sandboard. Okay, lift up. 
Vamos, Katia. Eso es. And guys, before we continue and learn five more super cool and funny idioms, just a couple of things. First, if you like today's lesson, please don't forget to give it a huge thumbs up, to subscribe to English Bits and turn on the notifications. And secondly, next month in February, I'd like to create two groups to help you prepare Cambridge exams. So if you want to take the first or CAE exams in the near future, please let me know. You can send me an email or DM me on Instagram. Thank you. Number six, to shoot from the hip. What do you think it means? Well, it has two different meanings. The first one is positive and it means to speak in a direct and honest way. In Spanish, we'd say hablar alto y claro. Let's put it into a simple sentence. David shoots from the hip, but at least you know exactly where you stand with him. And the second meaning is negative, and it means to react quickly without stopping to think and to act hastily. In Spanish, actuar sin pensar. For example, she's very impulsive and prone to shooting from the hip. Number seven, to climb the walls. It means to suffer unpleasant feelings, to feel anxious, worried or frustrated because you're unable to do something you want. In Spanish, it's the same, subirse por las paredes. And now let's look at two examples. The first one, I haven't been abroad for going on three years and I'm climbing the walls. True story. By the way, here we've got a very interesting word, going on. It has different meanings, but in this case, it's a synonym for almost or nearly. And one more example, I've been in lockdown for a week and I'm climbing the walls with boredom. If you want, you can add with boredom or anger or frustration. And now let's move on to our idiom number eight, also super interesting for a song. This idiom means that you buy or sell something for a very small amount of money, very cheaply. In Spanish, we would say por cuatro duros. And now two examples. The first one, they bought their apartment for a song. And one more example, I'd rather donate clothes than sell them for a song. Tomorrow to go, number nine, to throw a bone. Also very interesting. It means to give someone a small amount of what they want as a way of showing them that you want to help them, but without offering the main thing they want. In Spanish, it could be dar algo mínimo or tirar migajas. And now, two examples. The first one, this new measure is just throwing a bone to silence criticism. And one more example, I didn't get the pay raise I was expecting. The boss just threw me a bone. And last but not least, I like this idiom a lot and it's a piece of of work. Do you think this idiom is negative or positive? What do you think? So this idiom has a negative connotation and it means that someone is a very difficult, unpleasant and annoying person. In Spanish we say todo un personaje. And now two examples. The first one, your boss is a real piece of work. How do you put up with her? And the last example for today, I don't like her new boyfriend. He's a piece of work. So guys, that's it for today. Thank you for watching this lesson up to the very end. 
I really hope you enjoyed it and learned some new idioms. I'm very curious if there were any idioms you didn't know and also tell me which idiom is your favorite. Please don't forget to like this lesson, to subscribe to English Bits and catch me on Instagram where I teach English every day. Thank you for all your love and support and see you next Wednesday and also next Sunday. Have a nice day. Ciao for now!